Welcome to a video taking a look at solving equations and inequalities. Now, our key word here is the word solve. When we see that word, it simply means that we are trying to find out what the value of the letter is. So we would, in this case, be trying to find out what the value of A is equal to. In the case of inequalities, we would be are looking to try and find out what the value of the letter is greater than or less than or, or um, whatever symbol we've got. So let's go about answering this one. We've got 3a minus 5 equals 12. Now in order, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get down to a situation where I've got the a on its own on one side of the equal sign and I've got a number on the other. At the moment I've got these a's here, three a's, and I've got um, this negative 5. This negative 5 is in the way and what I'm going to do to get rid of it is I'm simply going to add 5. By adding 5 that gets rid of the negative 5 and so what we are left with is we are left with 3a is equal to 12 plus 5 which gives us 17. We can think of what we've done is uh, equal sign is like a set of scales we have added 5 to both sides we've added 5 and it's got rid of this negative 5 when we've added 5 here it's left us with 17 so what we now need to do is we need to figure out what just 1a is well I've got 3 a's at this point so to find out what 1a is I'm just going to divide by 3 and I can think of this I'm always dividing by the number that's in front of the letter so 17 divided by 3, I could write that as 17 over 3. I could write that as a top heavy fraction, 17 over 3. Then I could ask myself, okay, if I wanted to write this and be a bit more professional, write this as a mixed number, say, how many 3's fit into 17? 5 with a remainder of 2 thirds. So our answer here would be A is equal to 5 and 2 thirds. Okay, second part, I've got second one, I've got 6a plus 5 is equal to 8. So again, I want to get rid of this plus 5. So in order to get rid of the plus 5, I'm going to have to subtract 5. And again, think of this as like a set of scales. By taking away 5, I'm getting rid of that plus 5 there. And so what I'm left with is just 6a is equal to 8 minus 5, which is 3. Then again, 6 of my a's equal to 3. I want to figure out what just 1a is equal to. And so I need to divide by 6. So divide by the number that's in front of the letter. That gives me 3 over 6. 3 over 6, I can see quite clearly, that's the same as a half. So a is equal to a half. OK, let's take a look at our inequalities now. The idea here is exactly the same, except we've got this sign here. So let's read this out out loud so we understand what this part here actually means. So it says here, 2a plus 5 is less than or equal to, that line underneath means it can be equal to it as well, 10. So again, my process is exactly the same. I've got this plus 5, and I don't know why, but I've chosen plus 5 for all of these, or negative 5. I didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't matter if this was say plus 7 when we would take away 7 it's it's completely dependent on what this value here is I've got plus 5 so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to subtract 5 when I subtract 5 that gets rid of plus 5 so what I'm left with is 2a is less than or equal to 10 then in order to find out what a is equal uh, is less than or equal to I simply divide by the number in front of the letter 2. So I get 10 divided by 2, and so that gives me an answer of 5. So I could say that A is less than or equal to 5. Okay, uh, last one. I've got 3A minus 5 is greater than or equal to 7. So to get rid of that minus 5, I'm going to add 5. That leaves me with 3A is greater than or equal to 7 plus 5 which is 12 and then all I'm going to have to do now is simply divide by the number in front of the letter so I've got three A's are greater than or equal to 12 
So just one of those a's is going to be greater than or equal to 12 divided by 3, 4.